Here on the Geek Deck Industries live stream, Stick is here. Valley here, and uh, we're a little late tonight. Nah, we're right on time, according to our par for the course. So. Uh, maybe, yeah. I, I feel bad because it seemed like everything was ready to go, and I hit the start streaming button, and then all of a sudden, everything decided to turn egg shaped for me. Drop frames. Dropped frames everywhere. Yeah, the end of the world. Yeah, like oh, Streamers. how can I hold all these frames? Oh. <laughs> Just, just the streamer's worst nightmare. Yeah. Just what do you do? The frames, they're dropping everywhere. Ah! So anyway, we're back. We're here. We're live. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And welcome to yet another uh, excursion into our minds. Excruciatingly brought to you by us. Yay! So, of course, uh, this is our uh, weekly podcast uh, stop before we get into our match in the second half. Um, we still don't yet have a name, so uh, if you guys have a suggestion, please throw it in the comments. We've had a, a few come through already. Thanks, Jay, for a couple of good ones there, but we haven't settled on anything yet. Um, I've been just posting this lately as Untitled GTI Podcast. <laughs> so Perfect. Yep. Hell, if you guys don't come up with something good, that's going to stick. And then where Oh, don't put this on their shoulders. <laughs> this was your idea. Shut up. No. You no. figure it out. You figure it out. Right on. Okay, I will. So, uh, what do we got coming up here? We have a... We have the Mustache Open coming up in the uh, coming weeks. Just over one month for the Mustache Open at Warriors Weekend. Looking like a lot of fun. Uh, as a matter of fact, I can show this to uh, to you guys on stream. You guys watching the or listening to the archive of the podcast won't be able to see this. So <laughs> he means. I'm I mean sorry. that's terrible. He I'm means so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So only not. I ordered a custom mat for the mustache open to use at table one while we're playing, and it arrived. Just get the damn thing. I'm always knocking stuff over. There you go. The mustache open mat. Look at that. Three by three. Unfortunately, it's a little it's a little shiny, so the the extra light that we've got right now makes it a little hard to read. Um, has Sarge in the corner here, mustache open 2018 along the bottom, and Landacy. Because I still love you, Landacy. I still love you. And we don't really yet have a logo for uh, Warriors Weekend. And honestly, I ordered this before, while the, Landacy, Landacy. before the downfall, while Landacy was still a go. So this is what we will be playing on all day, day one and day two at table one. Uh, and then we will be raffling it off. Some lucky player who competed, doesn't matter if you won or not, or whether you made the cut, you could walk home with this map. Very nice. Very nice. It's so shiny. Yep. And so the plan is to to do this over and over and over and over again and have a bunch of different uh, mustache open mats, uh, one for every year. So, so there you go. One of the many things you can pick up with the mustache open. Uh, we picked up another chunk of prizing. Uh, thank you again to our Patreon uh, subscribers for uh, helping us out with that and for helping us out getting those alt art cards done. Uh, I'll be reaching out to you guys on Patreon in the next day or so uh, to get the, your shipping addresses and get those off to you. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled, Patreon backers. If you're not a Patreon backer, why aren't you? It's cheap, man. It's still cheap for some Ewok insurance. Um, cheap as a cup of coffee. Cheap as a cup of coffee. So go check it out. Uh, uh, Patreon.com slash Geek Tech Industries. And uh, at whatever level you choose to back us at, you can back us at... 50 cents if you want to or a buck if you want to um that will get you access to uh our alt art cards when we make those up so when when we have the next round of alt art cards if you're a patreon backer i will get your address and ship you one how does that sound how does that float your boat alt art cards 
Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, thank you also very much to, I don't have it here, Darth Otaku, who also is providing uh, some, um, there you go, uh, also is providing some swag for the uh, Mustache Open. He uh, got a couple of extra uh, courier droid and um, uh, intelligence agent cards uh, from the uh, recent Vancouver Regionals. Uh, and was like, I'm never going to fly uh, more than one of this, so here, take these and give those away. So nice. we'll have those uh, raffling off uh, for a couple of players as well. Things are shaping up to be a really fun event. It's going to be good. we got lots of space. Uh, go and check out your tickets. Tickets are on sale right now. Uh, go to Warhorn, which is the, the event site that we uh, have set up. Uh, when you go to Warhorn, go to the search and go uh, look for Warriors Weekend. And we are the only Warriors Weekend that you will find there. Uh, I believe it's uh, warhorn.com slash events slash Warriors Weekend, which will be in the description later on. Um, tickets for X-Wing are $40 for the entire weekend. Uh, also gets you access to the board game library and the uh, any of the casual RPGs that we managed to rummage up. So uh, go, go, come and check it out, give us a hand. All of the proceeds from this, by the way, are going to charity. Nobody's making money off this. You're getting weird lag, Larry? What sort of weird lag? The lag has returned. The frames be dropping. All the words are off frame. <sighs> what words? As in the audio is out of sync. Uh, okay. You'll have to unmute the preview to see how it sounds. Uh, yeah, we I that I know about. Um, there is unfortunately not a whole lot I can do about that while we're in it. So you're just gonna have to suffer, guys. Oh, all you could see was the starfield. Yeah, I thought it might be too down, too close down. So I'll I'll pull that out again, and uh, we'll show you just the bottom about midpoint there. Oh, uh, there's a there's a delay. There's the delay, but there's also. The chat overlay completely blocking the bottom half of the. Oh, thing. there you go. Sorry, guys. How about I put that up here? How about how does that look, Bally? We'll see in a moment. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't even think about the chat overlay. <laughs> that's good. Okay, so there you go. This is the bottom part that's going to be at the very bottom of the uh, the match. Um, of course, it won't have a chat overlay at the time. So Sarge in the corner. Uh, mustache open 2018 and Landacy because we love you Landacy and next year I want to do this at Landacy. So there you go. That's uh, that's some of that and then of course uh, that Altar Gunner with Sarge on it that you guys can get as well. Unfortunately for the moment being we're just going to have to have the audio out of sync for a yeah. second. Just imagine you're watching a Kung Fu movie and everything will be just fine. <laughs> so... All right, uh, man, man, I'm I'm so excited about the Mustache Open. It's like all I can think about right now. It's getting so close. So close. It's March first. So close. It is now March first. Uh, don't remind me, God. Oh, oh Lord. My God. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then some of the other prizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have is uh, an IG88, courtesy of the Board Game Cafe here in Victoria, and courtesy of Geek Tech. And our Patreon backers, a TIE Striker. Because you can never have too many TIE Strikers. Well, I mean, if you had, like, five of them, there's really only four pilots, period. Epic, man. Epic. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Generics are pretty solid still. Fair. So there you go. That's uh, some more of the prizing that you guys are going to be able to win uh, come the Mustache Open. And so of course, all attendees... All attendees, everybody who comes to the Mustache Open, is registered for the Mustache Open, will go home with at least the Alt Art Sarge Gunner card. Yeah. So, happy to I share that with you guys. I know you can't make out the details. I don't care. I'm hanging it up here anyway. Okay. Um, what else is there coming up? Oh, uh, coming up, I believe just after the uh, uh, mustache open, uh, I think it's two weeks afterwards, I'll have to double check, uh, is uh, another charity tournament. Uh, 
uh, this time run by uh, Van Oil Gaming, uh, with all the proceeds going to Power to Be Adventure Therapy. Uh, nice. who, yeah, really, they're, they're a good organization. Fa fantastic organization. Uh, they take people who wouldn't normally be able to get into the outdoors and into, uh, adventure sports in any way and take them out there and do stuff, you know, do that stuff with them. And it's, it's fantastic and empowering and beautiful to see this stuff, sort of stuff happen. So, uh, more information on that, um, will be down in the description, uh, during the match as well. And of course I will be donating. Uh, some of my extra uh, Sarge, uh, Altart Sarge Gunner cards here to that event as well. So there will be a few of those up for grabs at that event. Nice. Nice. Providing that there are any extras. Well... Uh, I don't know how many you had printed. 50? Well, that's a start. So <laughs> I've got a few. And uh, thankfully I can always just get them reprinted. So, yeah. uh, Which... Uh, guys, if you're ever like, oh, the cost of alt art cards is so expensive, I can't do it. It's not. It's not as expensive as you think. The most expense is probably getting the art done. And thankfully, we have an artist in residence here at Geek Tech, so uh, that was nice. Uh, but actually getting the cards printed, 54 cards was uh, less than 25 bucks. Shipping was what hurt me. I originally paid for express shipping on these, thinking that I had to get them in by next week. And I had another month to go. I could have gone with the ten dollars shipping option instead of the forty dollars shipping option. So. A lot of work you do. Yeah, but you know, live and learn. Yeah, live and learn. Well, now you've got them. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, good times. So I think we're going to be ha coming at you with uh, an interesting match tonight. Bally has decided he's going to test out. I'm going to do something boat. I don't do. Fly the match. I am going to fly the. Freaking meta! I can't. I'm stunned. I looked at stickers Absolutely and I said, stunned. "You know what? I want to try that list with the ghosts and the two shuttles in it. The one everybody's flying. I'm gonna fly that." Yeah. So the Fen Ghost. So that's what I'm gonna fly. Fen Ghost coming at me tonight. I'm. I do not want. Let's just you know like that that Vader. No. no! That is how I feel oh, come on, about man. that ghost. Everybody I, I here. Everybody to here knows how quickly I can crumple and drop. La Larry <laughs> knows. Flying. Larry, Larry's watching. He knows just how brutal that ghost can be. I, I, yeah, it's it's a beast. Oh my freaking god! Um, I decided that I would take my A wings and uh, instead of Braylon, my triple A wings uh, snap crack. Instead of Braylon, I did Ezra. Because I, I thought that would work differently. Give me give my A-Wings a little advantage with boost and stuff, right? Right. Not so much. I did okay until I came up against Larry with that Fen Ghost. Yeah, you went 2-1 with it in the last in the, the tournament at, at uh, Gauntlet Games wow, there. right on. So, but... <sighs> Let's just say I was frustrated that I all I did was clear the shields on the Ghost in the entire match. See, I have this feeling, though, that since you've flown against this list before, you have your I do. preconceptions. You're going to be gutted so hard for Fen. No, that, so that is hard. what you have to do, though. You have to gun for Fen. But that's why you do something like um, uh, Kanan with a bunch of focuses on him. And he's like, oh, you're shooting at Fen? Hold on. Yep. Let me reduce that. Hey, Fen, how you doing? Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Screw you, Fen. I hope you die. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, and I've decided I'm going to fly some jank against it. I, I'm really loving the Kimagilas lately. Yeah. And so I've decided that I'm going to fly a pair of the PS3 Kimagilas, um, similarly spec'd, as closely spec'd as I can to uh, the uh, assault gunboats. You actually bullseyed me last week. I know! Twice! <gasps> Dude, that one on Ezra was... Twice! I thought that was going to give me the win in the end. Like, that shifted the game hard. Yes. And you did exactly what you needed to do to win, though, which was make me chase you. Well, um... You bastard. Yeah, I lured you into a point where you fucked up your flying. Yep. The only reason I won was because you made a critical error. Really? That's half of what even, actually is, Even though. had you just continued to chase me, you probably would have been okay. But you didn't chase. You turned away. That was that was the mistake. Nice. It was that turn away. Yeah, it, it was. I sh when I turned up, when I should have turned down. But, 
But that's not what I'm bringing up. I'm bringing up the fact that you bullseyed me twice in a single match. You've yes. been having so much issue actually lining up that bullseye. And well, this time you were just like, bang this on. This is where, with the... Again, shift over, bang on. With the cartel, I think it's the cartel brutes, which are the, the PS3 low pilot skill dudes. Um, their bullseye doesn't matter as much. No. Because they don't have a, at the start of combat, do this crazy bullseye bullshit. Doesn't... Um, they just have the regular bullseye... Which is, when you're attacking and your opponent is in your bullseye firing arc, they cannot modify their results with tokens. They can't focus up. Can't evade. focus, can't evade. So it's just, sorry, those tokens you got, you can't use them. Yeah, flat roll. Yeah. Which is going to be interesting, but you know what? I'm not going to push hard to get it all the time. Yeah. If so. you do end up with it, it'll be nice. Yep. But it will be hard because they're going to be moving on three. They're going to be the lowest three, pilot skill on the board. And, and I'm not going to make the mistake I made with my uh, uh, previous list for the uh, Royal Squadron uh, League where I went, gunboats with tar with uh, guidance chips, that sounds like a great idea. No, Stickus. That was a stupid idea and it costs you a bunch of games in the tournament. Long range scanner. Long Get range. Get it out there. That's right. When you're low pilot skill, you need to move slow and target, target lock at three far. and beyond. Yeah. So it's it's important to get those target locks in early. I think having two of them, sort of flying them side by side-ish, and then me having a large ship base will make it relatively simple to get a target lock. Maybe. Or the, the, the bullseye lock, I, I, I think it'll be interesting. Against the larger ship. Because if I move into it, yeah. unless I can give myself like an extra act, boost action or something to clear out. If I move into it, I'm too bad for me. Yep. Yep. Well, and I'm going to try a uh, push the limit uh, Ventress to go with them. So I've got them stripped down. I think they're um, 27 points a piece. And then pretty much the remainder of my points went into Ventress and upgrades on her. Um, which is not as great as it could be, but it's got potential. Because I got the Shadow Caster title on there to hopefully get somebody with a tractor beam, pull them a little closer maybe, and get that shot in. Yeah. So, uh, but it is, I mean, if somebody goes, I'm ignoring Ventress and I'm just going to push after the chemos, I might be really bummed. Because they really don't do well on their own. I mean, I love them. I love them to death. Dalen's fantastic. But when they get focused, they just <laughs> become an expanding ball of gas and flames. Eight hit points. One agility. One agility. They're no Nim, that's for sure. They They're crumple, no Scourge. Crumple relatively quick. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they have crumple zones, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They were built to crush under impact. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not exactly. resist it. So I, I think we'll have an interesting match tonight. So um, what other stuff was there to talk about? Well, I have something totally off the topic. Well, I feel we it. have a resident artist. We do. And our resident artist has created for us a character. Sarge. Sarge. Sarge, for so those who haven't quite realized yet from the pictures. He is he is Sarge uh, is a rabbit. Is up there above Bally's head, there's a picture of Sarge in a rebel flight suit right now. Sarge is a rabbit. Across the many universes that Sarge has been artistically animated in, he has worn many a different suit. He has had several different roles. My avatar on Go on Google right now is the Sith Sarge that Shinny drew for me. He looks good, man. It looks yeah. awesome. <laughs> I love it. I like that that's your, your placeholder screen for your stream as well. Yes, so, yeah. exactly. So Sarge is our character. And recently, I acquired a game that oh. I think will fit into the theme of our mascot being a rabbit man named Sarge. Okay, okay. I acquired a game called Overgrowth. And I think I'm going to stream the shit out of it once I actually work up the awesome. bother to awesome. do Awesome, awesome. Okay, so what's over? It's like a kung fu 3D fighting adventure game starring a rabbit fighting to free his rabbit kind from these other oppressive critters. Man, you had me at rabbit. Sign me up. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah, so... I mean, it's, I'm sure it's not actually Sarge, but, you know. Close can, enough. Close, close enough. Maybe yeah. Sarge is from this guy's world. Who knows? They, maybe they know <laughs> each other, you know? Had some coffees together, trained maybe? I, don't I know. saw that game and I went, oh my god, 
Sarge Origins. <laughs> well, it, yes. the origin of Sarge is interesting because um, originally Shinny was writing a short story about two teenage kids. Um, and one of them was obsessed with this video game franchise called Chainsaw Wreck-It Bunny. And it was the story of a uh, bunny princess and the bunny empire. And one of the uh, NPC characters that apparently recurred was Sarge. And um, we sort of adopted him out of Chainsaw Wreck-It Bunny into <laughs> Geek Tech. <laughs> So uh, keep your eyes peeled because it, uh, um, it seems like uh, Sheeny has been doing some uh, script work on a Chainsaw Ragged Bunny comic, which would be like Sarge's origin story ah, and nice. where he came from and why he has the cybernetics and why he's able to uh, uh, jump between different dimensions and things. Right so um, keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, we will uh, we'll be working on getting some hosting set up for, for that and probably get a Sarge webcomic up in the next uh, few months. It's time for our boy Sarge to get some backstory. Right? Right? He's just been this, like, cipher about, like, okay, so he's a cyborg rabbit. What else is there about him? So. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Yes, exactly that, Larry. An origin of Sarge comic. So keep your eyes peeled. There'll, there'll be a digital version that we will be posting up, and then I think we'll be collecting the strips and putting those into a, a published version at some point. So keep your eyes peeled. And again, if you want to help us out and and sort of push this content forward, go check out our Patreon. We could really you, that did uh, really give us a hand, guys. Is there anything else? No, you get. Um, no, was... I think that was my last. All right, so uh, I think we are gonna cut out here to the match in a minute. But I did want to mention that Tuesday nights uh, we have the art stream. So if you want to see more stuff about Sarge and more uh, uh, interesting art. Come tune in on Tuesday evenings. Some of Shinny's creative process. Shinny draws. She kind of, she uh, doesn't talk. I run the chat. Um, there is either nature sounds or classical music to just chill to while she draws. Uh, we draw. She draws for about two hours or so, uh, and you, so you can chat with us and comment about what uh, she's drawing and give suggestions and hang out with us for a couple hours on a Tuesday night. Tally really liked the uh, nature sounds. Yeah. We're, uh, we're working on that. And uh, in the very near future, I'm uh, working on a collaboration with uh, a good friend of mine from uh, uh, Red Dragon Dice. Uh, she is a board game fanatic. Absolutely. Knows more about board games than I will ever forget. <laughs> which is a lot. Um, and we've been working out some times to actually sit down and do some board game live streams where Susie comes in. Susie is my, my friend from Red Dragon uh, I have a Dice. feeling that's who you were yeah. talking about. She will come in, <laughs> she'll bring a board game, she'll teach us how to play it, and then we will play. There was two women I can think of immediately when you start talking about board games and knowledge of that <laughs> level. Uh, immediately and Susie's one of them. And Susie's one of them. Yeah. The other one's name starts with a B. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. And uh, it sounds like uh, Zealot is going to be starting his uh, D&D campaign live stream and we'll be having edited and uh, recorded versions of that uh, really, really soon. Like, uh, as in I'm meeting with him on Sunday to meet the rest of his party and nail some settings down for streaming. Nice. So really soon. It's going to be great. It's going to be super good. Uh, Zealot has worked very hard on a custom uh, campaign setting. Um, we we're not using uh, modern modern D and D as it were. Uh, it's still using the fourth edition frameworks in uh, a tool known as RP Tools. Uh, so uh, the fifth edition frameworks are there, but they're not they're not finished yet. They're not as comprehensive. So uh, we will be playing fourth edition. There will be some guest DMs, there will be guest players, as well as the core players uh, and the main DM, Zealot. And uh, if you've ever seen uh, Harmon Quest, <laughs> very similar, and if you have even more over the top. If you haven't seen Harmon Quest, What's as a side note, you? you really should go and see that. Like, Not right this moment, obviously. There's 
X Wing to be watched yeah, tomorrow, but afterwards, after <laughs> the stream, maybe tomorrow. Harmon Quest, Dan Harmon. Yeah. Oh, for those Larry. who don't know who Dan Harmon is, he's one of the creative minds behind Rick and Morty. So the man's a genius. Yeah, Harmon Quest. Into the Googles, <laughs> go watch it. Yeah. Um, Larry, yes, Sarge coffee mugs and calendars, perhaps. Uh, coffee mugs, definitely soon. Sounds like a pretty good idea. Yeah. Uh, we're actually working on a storefront where you'll be able to pick up Geek Tech and Sarge um, uh, swag and memorabilia. Uh, we are going to be doing a rerun of the Mustache Open shirts. So keep your eyes peeled for that as well. If you are interested in getting a shirt for the Mustache Open, we will have that posted in the coming days on our Facebook page. Um, we're also, I'm also working on an actual web page because I know that Facebook reaches shit. Um, I think if I had a hundred followers, two of them would see a post that I put up. That's, that is what sort of reach we get on Facebook. So yeah. Yeah. Bill. Yeah. Uh, we can probably get you in on the board games. For, uh, Facebook only wants like $2,500 in order to boost your <laughs> That, that kills That's me. All. That kills me every damn Not time. Much. Just, just a tiny bit. Just, just twenty five hundred dollars to boost your post. Yeah, I'll make a post, and they'll be like, "Other uh, uh, pages are boosting their posts to get more engagement. Click here to see how you can boost." And I'll be like, "Oh, sure." And they'll be like, "We can get this to people in Canada between eighteen and sixty five for only twelve thousand dollars." And I'm like, "No, go eat your hat. I'm done. Uh, no, no, yeah. no." <laughs> So it just happens you, to be a place like, to put stuff. Like, with all of your information gathering that you guys do over there at Facebook, do you think that you should be trying to sell me something for $12,000 right now? Yes, who, they do. Who or what do you think I am? You know what I am. No. You know more about me than all these other groups. They think they know. <laughs> But that algorithm, man, oh boy. Oh, oh yeah. boy. Well, it's starting to prove that yeah. it has some holes in it, isn't it? Oh, man. Let, let's just say that I'm I'm working on ways to get us off a platform and onto something of our own. Because platforms just in and of themselves all suck. Twitter doesn't give you enough reach, really. Facebook sure as hell doesn't give you enough reach. G+, enough said. Uh... <laughs> So, uh, things like Patreon, I'll, I'm going to be focusing really uh, sooner. I'm going to be focusing more on Patreon, putting more free content on our Patreon. Um, you don't actually have to back us on Patreon to follow us on Patreon. Go and make a free account. Follow us. Um, I post all of the content that you would see uh, on our Facebook page on Patreon as well. And you'll actually see it. It won't just be like, yeah, sure, I put it out there. You'll actually see it in your in your notifications and yeah. stuff. Yeah, um, good. Also going to be getting us a proper domain and a proper website so that we actually have some place to call home. Yeah. Plans within plans within plans <laughs> as we move forward. Yeah. Yep. yeah. You got anything else? No, I don't have anything else right now either. Um, shout out to Andrew at uh, Vanna Gaming, uh, dude, you're you're killing it right now. Uh, Watch the last your last couple of videos, and your quality is fantastic. You're making me look like shit, buddy. Slow it down, would you? <laughs> so well, if you, you haven't to, already, we just need to catch up. I know, right? I gotta get better. Get good, scrub. Get good. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if you haven't already, go and check them out. Uh, Van Isle Gaming on uh, uh, YouTube's as well. We'll have a link in the description uh, if you're watching the archive. And yeah, I think I think we're gonna cut it here for a minute. So right. we'll we're gonna take a short break, everybody, and then we'll be back with the match. Uh, we will see you guys here on the mat soon. Fill space with some talking for a second. <laughs> Yeah. Ah. So it's going to be Rebel versus Scum. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.